Hey guys, and welcome back to another Wood Brew video. In this week's video, we are working again with a local coffee shop to revamp their wall backdrop. Thanks again to Homewright for sponsoring this week's video. Let's get started. This is the before. Although it looks different and cool, there are a couple problems. It's a little dark, the wood doesn't go up to the ceiling so it makes behind the bar feel tight and small and the wood doesn't really match with the wood tones the rest of the store has, so we are going to fix all of that. For this project, all we're going to need is a sheet of half inch plywood, a sheet of half inch OSB, and a half sheet of three quarter inch plywood that we will get to later. There are a couple of things on the wall that we will need to get around, like where the bar runs into the wall, a couple of light switches, and at the corners of the ceiling. We're going to map that out first and then cut off the access. Next up is paint. We chose a flat black paint to match the ceiling so it will draw your attention all the way up and give the illusion that the space feels bigger. Thank you to Homewright for sponsoring this week's video. We are using their Finish Max Super Spray Gun. This method is definitely the way to go because not only does it save you a ton of time by not bringing out the paint roller, it sprays so evenly and there's no harsh lines between passes. There will be links down below to this spray gun, so make sure to check that out after the video. Next, we need to cut out the coffee shop's logo. Now is when we are using the 3 quarter inch piece of plywood and that is going to take about an hour to carve. While the coffee shop's name gets carved, we are sanding the logo and putting together all the shelves. The shelves are pretty simple, we are just using scrap 3 quarter inch plywood and attaching a strip to the back of them so we can screw them to the wall. The screws will eventually get covered up by the shop's coffee bags. After everything was cut, sanded, and put together, we can clear coat it all. Again, using the spray gun from Homewright because it's just so much quicker. That night, we started demo taking out the little shelf and all the wood planks. first piece is going up. We had to make a few minor adjustments after putting it up for the first time, but nothing too major. We used a pin nailer to hold it in place and then came back around later and added some finish head screws. Next up is the OSB sheet that's going in the middle. We wanted the wall to have a little bit of texture and we are just so obsessed with OSB right now. It turned out to be so subtle, but a really cool feature. Don't worry, we will be going back to fill in the holes later. One last piece and of course it gave us the most difficulties and didn't want to fit, but we eventually got it. All that's left is attaching the logo and shelves. We used our new digital level that's amazing. We just wrote a blog post about it. There will be links down below to read up more on it. And that's going to wrap it up for this build. It turned out so good and even though it's a black wall, it goes all the way up to the ceiling and really opens up the space. It now gives them a new space to display their coffee and merchandise as well. Thank you to Homewright for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next one. <laughs>